What's going on guys, my name's Dean, or as most of you know me to see, and today I'm going to be doing a video on showing you guys how to, uh, you know, change up some things in AFL Evolution, more specifically the banners, the ad boards, which is a couple of the things that you guys were asking about from yesterday's career mode video. Now, I'm going to start off by saying you cannot do this if you're on a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. If you're going to ask that in the comments, which I'm sure there's someone who didn't listen, but no, it's a big no-no. You cannot do it on the PS4 or the Xbox One. And here's why. We're going to be editing in-game files from the PC version. There's nothing in-game that actually allows us to do this. Um, so we have to go outside of that into the game files. So let's get into it. The first thing you're probably going to need if you're on a PC, if you're going to be editing texture files, is you're going to need some kind of way to edit DDS files. Now, the easiest way to do that, uh, for me anyway, is I have Adobe Creative Cloud, which means I have access to uh, Photoshop. So it works with Creative Cloud as well as all of these uh, different versions of Photoshop. Um, I think it might work with a couple of other different programs, but basically you're going to need this NVIDIA Texture Tools um, kit. So go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded that, install that. Um, that you need to restart your computer or whatever as well. So that's the first thing you need to be able to edit DDS files within Photoshop. You can't do it unless you have this plugin. And if you are using this on Steam, uh, which I don't think there's actually a hard copy of the game, you're gonna wanna go to this directory. Uh, you're, you're probably gonna find uh, your Steam library on your C drive. This is my D drive, uh, this is my uh, external drive. Most of your D drives will be a uh, CD drive or DVD drive, but my D drive is a hard drive. Uh, and basically this is where I've got my Steam library. You can find it in programs, program uh, applications or whatever, but then essentially you're gonna go to your Steam library, your Steam apps, the common, and then the AFL Evolutions uh, game. So for most people, uh, let me see if I've got a C drive version of this. Okay, so for most people, you're gonna find your Steam games directory in your C drive, in your program files, in your Steam, and then Steam apps. So what you're also gonna need is a program called uh, WinRAR or, or 7-Zip. I think WinRAR is probably the easiest one to do. Uh, so let's just Google WinRAR here, just for the purposes of it. It's free to download. Uh, go ahead, download whichever one works for you. Uh, it's completely free. Um, so you go ahead, download WinRA if you need to. I'll put the link in the description for both of these, by the way, if you are planning on doing this. Uh, then you've got this pack.waz file, which is essentially where you're going to get your base files to work with from. Now, uh, let's open this up. So this will open up in WinRA. We, th we then go into the data file. And depending on what you want to edit, you can depend on, is depending on where you want to go. So if you want to edit uh, the banners, uh, you go to prop you then go to texture and banner and then you've got all the different banners for all of the specific teams that that you have so you'll notice you've got uh two banners here you've got banner underscore d and banner two underscore d essentially uh if you want just the one banner to appear you'll have to just copy uh the same file twice so that it, it's obviously the same file that's going to be there, uh, and it's only going to load that one file. But most, uh, pretty much all the teams will have two banners uh, that it will load from, so feel free to change any of those. So let's go to a team that I haven't changed yet. Uh, let's go to a team like uh, the, who knows, let's go the Giants, GWS Giants. So basically, once you find the team that you want to edit, uh, you're going to just take these two files and you're going to drag them out to whichever directory you want. I've just got a mods folder that I've put inside that uh, already. So I'm, I'm going to have it there. So then essentially we see you have two banners here for the GWS Giants. You've got banner underscore D and banner two underscore D. And as you can see, they're two different banners. The next thing you want to do is you will want to open up uh, the banner you want to change uh, into Photoshop. You'll get these little. You'll get this little pop-up saying "Load using default sizes," uh, which which I've clicked OK on for most times. Um, and essentially, this is now the banner uh, that you you can edit. You can edit it uh, however way you want. It's only got the one layer though, so if you do want to make any adjustments to this, you're gonna have to just put a new layer and and go over the top. So then, if you want to just bang 
and do that and then work with that as your blank canvas, that's totally fine. What I will say, and what I've noticed with a lot of these is there's, there's sort of uh, like a safe area as to where the, the banner's gonna go. So I noticed this when I was editing the Richmond Guernseys, the banner is, is about this big. So while the folder is a lot bigger than that, and let's just make a new file here and just dump out gray. This is essentially now your safe area as to what you can edit. So this area here, whatever you put in this is probably not going to go well for you. It's You're probably not gonna see it on the banner. And generally this area here then is where the players are gonna be blocking. So if we uh, make another new layer, and yeah, let's chuck the blue in there as well. Essentially, this is now what the players are gonna be blocking. All right, so essentially now, if I'm looking at the Giants banner, this is what I'm looking at. So as I said, you know, you've got your, your banner, I've got your, you've got your safe area as to what you're going to see, and then you've got your uh, sort of where the players are gonna be blocking. So it, it generally doesn't leave you too much space. If You've got about this much space then. Uh, let's let's put that in green or something or in yellow just to, to show you how much space you really have. So you've got about this much space to edit with within this file. So it's about half of the actual file size is probably what you're going to be seeing on the ground without your players blocking it. So then uh, it's fairly simple. If you wanted to put something in, you can put in just some text and be like, hello. We are the best team, you know, bow before us. You know, and you can just put this over here, you can make it bigger. Just be like, we are the best team, you know, then you can put the Giants logo, I suppose. You know, and then you, you just want to put the Giants logo in there or something, you can just put that over here and then move this around. If you want to keep the bits on the outside, obviously these are just our, our layers to show you where we're potentially wanting to keep within and then you want to put on top of this background layer you just want to copy it get rid of this you know you you want it to be whatever color this already is so then you want to just maneuver this stuff into whatever you've already got there so if you've got the giant thing and you just want to go we are the best team bow before us this is your new banner if you want to change the colors on anything you know just feel free to make another layer so generally a lot of these banners will have some sort of, you know, cartoon or, or or drawing on it. I don't know how the Giants do theirs. I know that's how Richmond generally do ours. So let's just grab this uh, Cameron. Uh, what's this? This is a footy card from a couple of years ago. Let's just remove all of this nonsense on it if you really wanted to. So basically what I wanted to do with this banner when I was designing it was, uh, you know, make sure there's a little like caricature or, or a little, you know, cartoon texture as a lot of the banners do these days have sort of some sort of picture on it to, you know, work with the text. Uh, you want to get your color scheme sort of similar to how the, the team's going. So, you know, put uh, the gray and, and orange and white were the three colors of the banner. Also wanted to add in these little squares or, or like rectangles on the sides to, uh, sort of insinuate that you know it's all being stuck together like like the banners sort of are they're all, all stuck together i suppose by these little uh like garbage bag like textures and you want to make sure that all of the um what's it called text and and the pictures are within that safe zone that you're actually going to see on ground uh and then you want to make sure that it's within you know the players aren't blocking any of that text um so then what we're going to do is we're going to save this out is our banner.d or banner underscore d and it's the dds file so we can either overwrite these uh, i'm going to chuck the well one of these is actually what we're already using so we're just going to call this banner underscore d underscore cameron for now uh then you'll get this pop up i haven't i don't change any of the settings with this i just hit save straight away uh and then we're going to go back to our thing here so we've got our banner underscore d underscore cameron i'm going to move these because these are already uh the pre-existing banners, I'm gonna put those in pre-edits because that's uh, that's where I put things, you know, before I edit them. So that way I've still got those files if I need them uh, for a later on, if I wanted to just revert it back to the default. And then we're gonna call this banner underscore D. We're gonna copy it again so we make sure that that is the banner. We're then gonna go banner underscore two. 
underscore or banner two underscore D. And then what we're gonna do is we, we just open up our WinRAR again here. And we've also got our files here. And we're just gonna drag these then into this. Uh, and then hit OK. Now, uh, don't be alarmed. This is going to take maybe five minutes to copy over, even though the file sizes aren't that big. So just don't worry about it too much. If it seems like it's stuck at this updating screen for a while, just leave it for a little bit. Um, and then eventually it will uh, work out. So it's 12.35 now. I'll skip ahead to when it actually finishes and then you'll be able to see how long it, it takes. All right, so it's done. So it took about five minutes in total. Uh, 12.35 to 12.40 was the general assumption. So now that's done. All right, that is done. We can close that. We can close this and we can close Photoshop as well. Do we want to save changes to the Photoshop document? Uh, if you are, want to keep sort of your banners that you're working with, I would recommend going yes. But I would also say, I would save it as a Photoshop uh, file. So I'd say photo PSD, which is a Photoshop file. Um, and then you can ch change this to, you know, banner.g.gws uh, and chuck that in my mods, in banners, make a new folder. GWS. This is just my, my personal file naming uh, of things. So then if I wanted to edit a GWS banner again, that's what I would do. Um, I use a PS4 controller for my uh, for when I play, so I use DS4 Windows. Uh, if you guys feel free, I'll put the link for that in the description as well if you, you're keen to use your PS4 controller and playing the game on the computer. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to boot up the game and hit play now. So now that banner should be in the game, you shouldn't have any trouble there. If you copied it over, as I said, with, with both files, obviously we've got Jeremy Cameron in our team, how convenient. Uh, and let's just skip through this. So the crows, they've just got the default banner. As I said, I have not uh, modified that in any way. So let's let's skip through this. But here we go, we've got the Giants. We've got congratulations, Jeremy Cameron on 100 games, 100 Giant games. You'll see it as they come out here. And you'll also notice sort of, I've got the spacings right. You know, we've got the Cameron, Cameron look there. You've kind of got the, you know, sticky taped together look a little bit you can obviously increase that if you wanted to uh, but it does look pretty cool i suppose in the end it does look uh, pretty cool obviously i've had my mouse on the screen sorry about that so as you can see i've also edited uh, some woolworths into the the backdrop that's another one of the files that you can find in that pack.waz file i've also changed uh the the ad board at the background that says twitch.tv forward slash twisty stream as you would have seen uh, I know that Richmond and Melbourne are my career mode anyway. I've got uh, the Anzac game coming up, so I've changed the Melbourne uh, Indigenous Guernsey to, to have the, uh, the what's it called, the, the Anzac logo on it, and same with the Tigers. So I looked at their, their thing for this year, and as you can see, I've put the Anzac logos on it. So there's a number of things you can edit in the game. These are just textures. You can edit the commentary, you can edit, edit songs. There is a whole range of stuff you can do. I'm only showing you guys a snippet of it, but essentially it is the same sort of few steps. You go into the pack file, find whatever it is you want to edit. If you want to edit one specific line of commentary, I mean, there's thousands of lines of commentary in here. Good luck if you wanted to edit the entire damn thing, which I thought about and then was like, nah, that's going to take me forever. Um, so you can you can be the umpire in the game if you wanted to. You can re-record the umpire sounds. I think there's only about 85 of those if you wanted to do that. But essentially, it's the same thing. Copy it over, I guess, understand what it's saying and then copy it back uh, once you've edited it or, or created a new thing for it. There's a whole bunch of, uh, you know, player things you can edit, whether you edit, uh, you know, their... The, the Guernseys for each side. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff. If you really wanted to edit, you can go inside here and edit it. Um, obviously, if you wanted to edit the ads, you go into to world, into uh, texture, and then into the ads, and then you, you can change the electronic ads for each stadium. I'm not sure why there's a, a folder here that says banner ads, because it's essentially the exact same thing as whatever's in this folder. Uh, this is what I changed. I changed in the MCG, I changed banner ads which are the ads around the ground, and then I change the electronic ads. Um, but I think it only plays through one of these, not both of these, or it just picks at random which ones it plays through depending on the game. So I'm not sure about that one, but uh, the first one it definitely does play through. And those banner ads, it does use both sets of banner ads around the ground. So I'll just show you uh, how I changed those. 
essentially, you know, there's four in the one file, you just you just swap out for whatever it was you wanted. So I put Coates Hire and Woolworths in because I think there was three Toyotas in there. Um, and then my, my uh, own personal one in there as well. So if you guys want to mod the game, uh, feel free to do so, I suppose, on the PC version of it. There is plenty of ways you can go about it. And uh, this is just one of them. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy today's video. Again, you can't do this if you're on a console. But uh, if you're on the PC, you can really try to do whatever it is that you like. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As I said, leave a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.